Yo, what's going on everybody? This is the random name 951 and I'm here to bring you a disassembly and reassembly video on the PS4 CUH1215A disk drive. So here we have the disk drive already extracted from our PS4. And you can see here, this is it. And I'm going to show you guys how to fully um, take it apart and, you know, get it going. So first things first, we're going to want to move these cables out of the way. Kind of just give them a slight angle. Careful not to be too rough with these because you can easily tear these cables. This one you'll just pull up and out of the way. And then uh, this large ribbon cable will most likely have a piece of tape around it. So just carefully take off the tape and peel it off. Now we are going to need a, um, <clears throat> a double, I think this is a Phillips Zero uh, screwdriver bit. See it's PH Zero. And we are going to remove six screws off this. So as you can see, we got one, two, and then if we move this, got my little hair turned to the other side. So we got the one, two on top. We got three, see four, five, six. So we're gonna move all six screws. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back. All right, guys. So we're back. As you can see, there is the six screws I just removed. Now what we can do is lift up on this plastic piece. Uh, let me move these screws to the side. <clears throat> so this should just come up very easily. And you want to make sure you run. You want to move this thinner ribbon cable all the way. And we're going to run the larger ribbon cable through the little slot until it is free. Put that little plastic tab or top to the side. <clears throat> now we are going to get our uh, screwdriver and we're going to switch to a double zero Phillips um, bit and before we get into this the first thing of business is we're just going to take out the disc uh, the lens assembly and this has no screws on it you just lift it up very carefully and from here you could Use something to clean to carefully clean the lens, and also you want to make sure you would get some alcohol and clean around this rubber part that um, grips onto the disc while it, the disc spins on this. So make sure you give that a good cleaning because those get pretty dirty and collect dust. And make sure you give the uh, the lens a light cleaning, maybe with some alcohol. I prefer using um. <clears throat> A lens wipe you can find these at any Walmart uh, near the vision center they have it's like about five bucks for about a maybe 150 pack or something 100 pack and you can use them on basically your phone your glasses uh, etc anything that's glass so we'll put that lens assembly to the side and now we will work on um, we'll work on these cog wheels so you can see here we have a couple cog wheels the first one we're going to remove is this one they just pop off put it to the side as you can see here this has a flat head screw on this uh, that holds down this cog wheel so we're just going to remove that with our double zero Phillips bit now this is free to take off and there's a little one right here we could just remove and this last one has the drive belt, so what you want to do is uh, carefully remove the belt. I will start with where the little one is. The little thing is just kind of give it a little spin. Now you can remove that last cogwheel off. And we also want to unscrew these two flathead screws with our double Phillips screwdriver bit. And these screws are holding in the disc uh, motor. It's what uh, allows the disc drive to spin up the disc and read them. 
So make sure you put those screws to the side and don't lose them. Next thing of business, we're gonna flip over the disc drive assembly and we're gonna unscrew two more flat um, flat head screws. There's one over here in the corner. Make sure you get those and also move those to the side nice and safely. And now we will be able to remove this. All you have to do is lift up from the back. See, this is the back right here. Lift up and away. And that's it. And then I recommend maybe getting a towel or something, maybe a vacuum, kind of just uh, moving the claws, you know, opening and closing them. And you'll see there might be dust hidden. So I would give them a nice. Um, just a pretty nice little coating, or not coating, excuse me, a little cleaning. Mm. I am actually going to add some lubricant. This might actually not be good, but I see metal scratching, so maybe this will help reduce wear and tear on this. So I'm going to add some. Okay, so now we are here in the actual disk drive, there's not really much left to take off. Now <laughs> that's not how you would remove the disk motor, um, basically how you would remove that, it's not the way I removed it. Um, all you have to do is lift it up towards you and then just pull out the, the motor, you know, come out that easy. Uh, next thing is this little piece. So to remove this, there is a small little piece of plastic that holds in the white little piece. So I recommend using maybe some needle nose tweezers or a flathead carefully. And I mean carefully because this piece can easily break. I'm going to push that piece in while lifting up the white piece and then it should slide over. You have that disassembled. And the last piece of business is this here. Or actually, there's two more pieces of business. So all you gotta do is carefully pull it back. That will lift up these rollers. And you could take off. And be careful because there is a spring that is attached to a little plastic hook on the back. If you could focus. And you just gotta carefully remove it. Cause you don't want to stretch out that spring and mess it up and uh, there's also a spring here that gives the roller some tension you can remove it but it's not really necessary to remove it all you would have to do is um, push up on this part of the spring make sure you hold hold it down like this push up push out and you would push the spring over this little piece of plastic and then that will come free and then you could clean that out there's not really much dust there but it is a uh, something I did earlier so the last piece is the rollers so with these what you want to do all you gotta do is just pull it toward you be careful you would pull actually you will pull this part toward you and carefully lift up lift out and now you have this little white piece stuck. And then you can also do the same thing with this roller. So you would just lift up. Be very careful because these are plastic and everything is delicate in this. Uh, probably recommend using something to help pry it out. See, we got this one out and you could um, use a q-tip with alcohol and just make sure you clean this good because this is the, these rollers grip the disc uh, the blu-ray disc when you're you're inserting them into the PlayStation and you know they help it slide in so if you clean these this will reduce the amount of wear and tear you get on your um, PlayStation disc <clears throat> 
and then you can also if you really want to I already did it but um, you could push down and if you have some tweezers you could kind of wiggle this out this cog wheel and you'll be able to clean it and, and uh, get a little bit more detailing on it I already did that I didn't want to do it again because it was a hassle to get it back in it wasn't too bad but it took me a little while so now we get to the fun part reassembly so first we'll start off with one of the rollers um, there's two sides one is like kind of a cross looking the ones like kind of a trifecta uh, thing going on the trifecta is gonna go toward the cog wheel and that will fit in from there just make sure the cog wheel is pushed in a bit and then you're gonna push down on the roller you might hear a click Be careful <clears throat> you don't exert too much force and there's that so now what we're going to do is get our little white piece that lies in between the rollers and this is going to go in the cross part my camera wants to focus so it's kind of going to seat like that and then what I did was I had this in first and I also had this inserted, I think it was. How did I do it? No, I had it inserted on the one roller that was already seated. I'll make sure that's in. And then you just wanna just work with it. Once you got it, and just push that other roller in. And there you go. Just kind of test it, make sure everything's rolling okay. And if you want, because how we did, you know, touch the rollers with our hands again, you could get a Q-tip with alcohol or alcohol pad and just give it a quick wipe. Um, just a quick wipe. Because again, that those rollers will come in direct contact with the disc when you are inserting them. So uh, just make sure you do take care with that. Alright, next step of business is... We're going to be using this piece. Go ahead and... Uh, first, you're going to want to use that... You see that little spring has a hole? Can't really see it that well. Well, anyway... There is a little hook here, Just barely see it, and uh, we're going to want to get the spring hooked around that. Doesn't take too much effort, see I got it on there. Now we're going to line this little piece up. Line it up here, just make sure it's, uh, I think I got it backwards, hold on. Yes. So I did get it backwards. We'll try this again real quick. Okay, we're going to line this up. All right. And now that we got lined it up, it should look something like this. Just make sure it's seated in correctly. You want to push down on those rollers and you want to push this all the way up till it locks them in just like that. Next, we are going to get this piece here. I'm going to put that back just goes in just slides in like this like so and then there should be is that how it goes no yeah it should be like that there should be a little wiggle like that so if you have it like that that's correct and now last but not least the motor so the motor, um, it's pretty easy to put back. You want to match, match it up like this, and you're going to come in as a, at a pretty aggressive angle. And then once you get the angle, just push it down, and it should go in. Now before we close everything up, actually, yeah, before we close everything up, what I like to do is hold the motor in. And we're going to get the little baby screws, the baby flatheads, they look like that. And we're going to use our Phillips double zero um, bit. I can find the screwdriver. 
and we are just going to go ahead and screw those screw the motor back in and secure it so it doesn't go anywhere and don't over tighten them just make sure they're you know tight enough but you don't want to just because if you over tighten them the plastic will get worn through and then they won't have a hold on the the motor anymore so just lightly hand tighten them now let's finish this up we're gonna put this top piece back in and you can see here there's a little lip here you want to make sure this metal piece with these little holes go under that, that lip and not over it and then if you seated it correctly you'll see these little tabs pop up and then you'll see this one pop up as well now we get the larger um, flathead screws I'll go ahead and go ahead and put those back in and we got one that goes right here and then we have another one that goes kind of hidden but it goes right here on the bottom right with that little tab again lightly tighten hand tight nothing too crazy put that on its back and now we get to the fun part so we're gonna start off with the little cog wheel put that face down push it down next we're gonna get the uh, larger um, base cog wheel this has like a thicker base as you can see kind of wiggle it in and now we're gonna get our last screw last little flathead screw and screw that back on the cog wheel and should just be you know snug enough to where that cog wheel won't come unloose and now we're gonna get the drive belt ready so put that here our drive belt I like to start off with the smaller part where the motor is and then you kind of just wind it wind it to where it's gonna um, take let's see uh, it depends you could go from the larger part to the smaller but you just kind of have to work with it and it doesn't want to work me you can see it's kind of going in there so just make sure it's on there give it a little turn and last but not least the smaller base of the cog wheel go ahead and put that on and of course we can't forget our laser assembly so the L part you can see how it has an L it's gonna go on this part here the, sk the skinnier part of the um, <laughs> the it was a the disc assembly, the disc drive assembly, and then this will just fall into place where these little um, pegs come up. And before we put the last piece back on, we need to make sure that the cables don't get pinched. So now we're gonna get our cover here. I'm gonna run the large ribbon cable through that. And be very careful because these ribbon cables are very delicate and you don't want to go ripping them so that's ran all the way through and again make sure the rear ribbon cable is not getting pinched and then from here we're going to re-screw in those six screws so I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'll be back all right so now that we've got the screws back on we're just going to put the ribbon cables we'll start the small one there's kind of a little clip just um, run it through the side and you'll see it clips in and then kind of angle the other one the other part of the small um, ribbon cable there you go and this last one here we're going to put that under the large ribbon cable and then from there we'll just run it through the little slot right here be sure when you're pulling on the ribbon cable you pull carefully that you don't put too much stress on it kind of just guide it through and that's pretty much it guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, peace.